afternoon. Welcome to another Sila moment. Uh, the month of November is almost by us, and I'm sure Christmas trees are up already. Presents are being bought already. Uh, as we remember at this time, which should be 365 days a year, uh, the birth of our Lord and Savior. What a beautiful time it is, and I, I pray uh, that it is a joyous time for you. And if not, uh, take comfort in knowing um, that Jesus was born for a purpose. He was thinking of you uh, when he came here uh, to this earth. Uh, so as we continue and we finalize our Monday here in November, uh, as we have talk and been talking about all month about his faithfulness, uh, let us go to the Lord uh, before we continue in the Word. Father, we come before you yet again. Uh, we come before you, but you have always been there today, always. You woke us up today. You've been with us today. Uh, and throughout the day, I pray that my brothers and sisters, your sons and daughters, have been acknowledging your presence uh, in our lives. Uh, we just thank you. We thank you that you're with us. We thank you, Father, that you have instilled in us a desire to know you more. Uh, hence our time to just pause and to be with you. And we just thank you for that. Uh, we thank you for your unfailing love. We thank you, Father, of, as we have been learning in Hebrews 13, uh, in 2 Timothy 2, uh, in Exodus 34, uh, these past Mondays, uh, your faithfulness and who you are uh, to us, no matter what we do, abiding in you, declaring you are Lord and our Savior, that you are faithful, that you are slow to anger, that you are the same yesterday, today, and you will be tomorrow. We just thank you for that. Draw near unto us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, again, um, coming off of the foundational verse from Family Fun Night on Hebrews 10, 23, that we can hold firmly to the unwavering hope that he who promised, we can hold true to that because he promised it, that he is faithful. And as we have been studying the word, uh, we're going to finalize um, our study time this uh, November on our Mondays in Titus, Titus chapter 3. Pray you have your Bibles out. If you can please join me in Titus chapter 3. Um, again, focusing on who God is, his faithfulness for us, which endures forever. Starting in verse 3. Once we too were foolish and disobedient. What are we talking about here? Once, before receiving the Lord, before taking our sinful nature out, off and making us anew, in his presence, through the love and acceptance of Jesus Christ. We were foolish and disobedient. We were misled and became slaves to many lusts and pleasures. Those temptations still exist because we're still in this fallen world. But what they're talking about here is, is just abiding in it. Just being lost. Being adrift. And when we come to Jesus... It's always good to know where we came from and where he took control and transformed us into a new creation to give us that hope, to give us that peace, no matter what we're going through, that he is with us. It's always good to know that, not, not take that for granted, brothers and sisters. He did that. And our lives were full of evil and envy. And we hated each other. Not only did we hate each other, but back then we hated ourselves too because we weren't doing ourselves any favors. But those three letters together in verse 4, but here comes the Lord. Here comes Jesus right now. That's what that but signifies. Anytime you read a but, comma, but, thank God for that, but. When God our Savior revealed his kindness and love, what he's talking about here, what kindness and love, his only begotten son, when he revealed that to us, when did he reveal that to us? When we were good? When we were honoring and praising him? No. If we go back again, 
when we were slaves to many lusts and pleasures, and when we were foolish and disobedient, he revealed his kindness and his love. Oof, it's powerful. It's not what the world tells us, brothers and sisters. You're valuable to him. We're all valuable to him. Who believe and trust him. Verse 5, he saved us. Not because of the righteous things we had done. No, 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 never. Can't, we can't do nothing. We, we will always fall short. But because of his mercy. Because of his mercy upon us. I remember one time Pastor Darrell talked about pity. That the Lord has pity. And that that's seen as a negative connotation to us. No, don't, don't pity me. You know, there's pride in there. No, 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 that's a bad thing. If you pity someone, it's like, whoa. Receiving that. But that's so positive, and we thank God that because of his mercy, because of his pity upon us, he lavished us with kindness and with love. And he washed away our sins. Truth, brothers and sisters, he is so faithful. Giving us a new birth and new life through the Holy Spirit that abides in us. So not only did he do it, and by us receiving, okay, now I know we're saved, but boy, I just wish you'd be with me. He is with you, the Holy Spirit. Walking with you each and every day. He's with us today, right now. He generously poured out the Spirit upon us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Why generously? Because we didn't deserve it. We didn't deserve it. He generously did it because of His unfailing love and faithfulness for us. Because of His grace, He declared us righteous. Grace freely given. He declared us righteous and gave us confidence that we will inherit eternal life. No matter what we're going through, brothers and sisters, we hold confident in knowing that eternal life awaits us. Verse 8, and this is a trustworthy saying. I want you to insist on these, te on these teachings so that all who trust in God will devote themselves to doing good. And these teachings are good and beneficial for everyone. That's why the word is so beneficial to us. Because the world doesn't teach us this. We can't get this from any other place. But through prayer and through the word of God speaking to you that he is faithful and that he is good and that he generously poured out the spirit upon us and by his grace declared us righteous and gave us the confidence in knowing. How does he give us that confidence? By reading it, by abiding in him, by praying with him. He is faithful and He is always with us. And how we, we always close as we soon celebrate His birth. We thank you, Lord, that the Lord is our shepherd and we have all that we need. That's all that we need. He is our shepherd. That is all that we need. He lets us rest in green meadows. He leads us besides peaceful streams. He renews our strength. He guides us along right paths bringing honor to his name. Even though we walk through the darkest valley, we shall not be afraid. For you are close beside me, your rod and your staff. They protect and they comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of, of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with your blessings, Father. Thank you. Surely your goodness and your own feeling love will continue to pursue me for all my days. They'll continue to pursue me. Not because of what I do, because of your faithfulness it continues to pursue me because of that I choose to dwell in your house forever Selah thank you for joining us make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the video see you next time